Three turnovers for the first half. Only one turnover in the last 15 minutes and 21 seconds of that first half. And we talk about easy baskets. Kansas not able to force turnovers and go the other way with them. Robinson, Arthur, Jackson, Chalmers rush for Kansas. As we start the second half, here's Chalmers. Guarded by Curry. Jackson draws a double baseline rush, frees himself. Baby jump shot short, snatched down Jackson. No, out of bounds. And will go the other way. He may have been poked in the eye. First of all, a nice job of taking the double team and finding open man. Rush still can't find the range. And it looks like Richard did get Jackson in the face. Officials obviously didn't catch that. Rush is 2 for 10 from the field, 0 for 3 from the three-point line. As Jackson walks over to the sideline, Khan replaces him. Richards left there. Now you got Russell Robinson on Jason Richards. With Brandon Rush playing Stephen Curry. Rush with the greater length. Again, trying to bother Curry. Backdoor Curry got a good look. Uh, knocks it down. And he hits his first shot of the second half. 17 points now for Curry. He started 0 for 5. He's 5 of 12 from the field. And again, by trading Rush's length. Instead of the quickness of Robinson, you have a chance to give Curry opportunities to lose Rush. Robinson off the mark. Lovedale with the rebound. Here comes Richards. Lovedale driving. Sander hit one in the first half from the top of the key. Curry again. Oh! Rush may not be quick enough to get to Curry, and that length won't bother Curry if it's slow. And that's a three. He has 20 to start the second half. Sasha Khan wheeling. And a nice left-handed jump hook. And that's getting the bigs involved. Got to be able to get him to the free throw line some more. The only four free throw attempts by Kansas. Curry again stripped out of his hands, out of bounds. I got a chance to touch it. Ah. We'll take a look at the last two scores by Stephen Curry. That time he just loses Brandon Rush again. Trading the quickness of Robinson for the length of Rush may ultimately hurt Kansas as Rush may be longer, but if he doesn't get there in time, what kind, of defense, in what kind of defense is this Kansas is using now? Looks like a box in one lane. Well, you can't tell initially until you run somebody through, and there you go, right there, the zone. As Sandra goes through, Rush stays where he is. Richards. Here comes Rush. Kansas looking for some transition points. Chalmers, the kick Rush fires. Up there, snatches it out of there. Oh, Rush not able to find the range. He's getting open looks. Richards inside, Sander, left there. No, right hand up and in. Thomas Sander, senior from Cincinnati, will go to the line. A little controversy right here. Sander just bowled over Mar Mario Chalmers, and everyone looked for the foul, and Sander kept going. And he received the ball nicely underneath, and by the time the defense got to him, he was able to get the shot up and draw the foul. But immediately before that shot, Sander just knocked Mario Chalmers into the second row with no call. Arthur picked up his third foul. So here come the Jayhawks. Rush struggling. 2 of 11. Robinson 0 for 2. Chalmers has been leading them offensively. Khan as well when he gets it in deep. Robinson drives. Stop and start. Hands it off. Knocked out of bounds. And we'll go the other way. Wait a minute. They may reverse this call. And stay right here. Kansas will hold on. Still having problems getting into the teeth of that Davidson defense as Davidson will not yield. They continue to pack it in, and whenever there's penetration, a lot of red hands, a lot of shirts, red shirts with hands out there bobbing the ball, deflecting the ball. Six to shoot, Chalmers blocks it. Oh, Sasha Khan bangs it down, and the foul. This man has had an excellent game. Eight of, points now off the bench. One of the few times the passer is not pressured. You see the space between Richard and Chalmers, and that gives Chalmers enough vision off the back screen to find Khan. And that's the way Kansas wants to play. 
Not only is Khan a great basketball player, but he's a three-time academic all-conference performer. Misses the free throw, Rush with the rebound. He's shot clock for the Jayhawks. Robinson's got to look for his offense a little bit as he turns it over. Richards, they're looking for Richards, and he travels. Ball is Goslin tried to get it to him. Well, you look at the comparison between the two leading scorers for each team. Stephen Curry shooting the ball well. Brandon Rush, not. Look at the turnovers. Again, that's Kansas. Probably a little bit frustrated. Probably trying to force the tempo instead of establishing the tempo. Rush has to keep shooting until he finds his rhythm. Inside, turn around, up, no, but a foul, and that will send Jackson to the line to shoot two. Lovedale giving ground, and Jackson. And that's what we said at the beginning of this half, trying to keep the bigs involved and get to the free throw line. That's exactly what Kansas needs. So Bob McKillop has a decision to make as well. Lovedale has picked up his third foul at the 16-16 mark of the second half. That one's short. Thursday... TV's most watched drama returns. Don't miss a riveting new CSI Thursday on CBS. You got Darnell Jackson, 69% free throw shooter, but it doesn't make any sense to try to get the bigs involved and get them to the free throw line if they're not knocking them down. Now Kansas has a team two for seven from the free throw line. All the season they shoot about 70%. Game tied at 35. Yep, there's that box and one and three so correctly pointed out how do you beat a box in one Len? if you're the shooter well if you're the shooter sometimes you play the box in one as a zone everywhere he goes in a box in one he should see two guys and a whistle and foul Paul is Goslin with a beat on the ball Khan fouls him Steph Curry he's a sharp shooter playing with heart and emotion Eight appearances without a Final Four. Himself is on the list along with Coach Cheney, Hartman, and Frizzell. As a matter of fact, Lenny, you were on one of Lefty's teams that uh, made the Final Eight, but was unable to make it to the Final Four. And my junior year in Maryland couldn't get over the hump against Providence with Marvin Barnes, Ernie DiGregorio. A terrific team that um, wound up losing, I believe, to Memphis State. Curry strip picked up by Richards. Baseline, Paulus Dawson back to Curry. He fires. Lovedale offensive rebound. Oh. And stick back. Lovedale is so rugged. Only four points, but he's a dirty work guy. He'll rebound, defend bigger players in the post, and also attack the basket when given the opportunity. Well, that's only the fourth offensive rebound for Davidson, but the sixth second chance point. And Kansas with seven offensive rebounds only has five second chance points. So Davidson converting their second chance opportunities at a better rate. Khan again to the basket. And he's bumped and fouled. Whenever you have long shots, you're going to get long rebounds. Lovedale, a nice job of commanding that weak side glass and using that reach to snare the basketball and goes up strong. Paulus Goslin picks up the foul as second. And that's the thing about Davidson that you marvel at. Everybody plays their role. Nobody tries to do more than they're capable of doing. Stephen Curry, he knows what his role is. That's to put the ball in the basket. And it's been such a nice mesh for Davidson up to now. 25 consecutive wins. And you can't discount that winning habit. I don't care who you play. You win 25 games in a row, you know how to win. And Davidson demonstrating right now, they're in it to win it. Now Rush fires again. This time it goes down. That's a three. Seven points for Rush. And that would be wonders to open up that Kansas offense. And a turnover. Chalmers with Collins. Chalmers. And he can't get it to stay down. A steal. Jackson. Rush again. Will he fire it? Now Collins takes a three. Way short. Got to understand time and score situation. That was a perfect opportunity for Kansas to reset and go back inside to their bigs. 
so far in this half. Davidson hasn't been able to really contain the big guys when you go into them. Rush is chasing Curry. Kansas remains in that box and one. Wallace Gosling. Lovedale. Across the lane. Rattles out. And we'll head the other way. Well, Brandon Rush, if he can find the range, he'll do a lot to open it up. Look, we're going inside out right here. There's a double team. Nice job to turn and face by Jackson to find the open man, as I've said often enough. Low post man, double team. Bounce it out, turn around, face the defense, find the open man, and you're going to wind up with a good look. And Aldridge comes back in for Kansas, replacing Khan. We'll take a breather. Arthur's on the bench with three fouls for Kansas. Chalmers, step back. Collins, slice it, and foul. Hard left-hand dribble by the kid from Chicago, and he will go to the line. And if Sharon Collins can be judicious in his drives to the basket, recognizing when to do it and when not, he can put an awful lot of pressure on that packed-in Davidson defense. As it gets the first, tomorrow the madness continues. Catch a brand new episode of TV's number one comedy, Two and a Half Men, tomorrow on CBS. Sander picked up the foul, his second for Davidson. Barr has checked in. He's number 24 red, second free throw, Collins. It's good. Jayhawks up by three. Lugdale. See if they try to swing it to Curry. There he is around the screen. He's bumped by his own player. Barr can shoot threes as well. Now Richards, pick and roll with Lovedale. Splits it. And he's fouled. I don't know about that one. Looks like he was off balance. The big men for Kansas today. Let's take a look at what they've done. And you take a look, particularly the point production. 20 points, that's half of Kansas's production. That's why it's so important to get it inside. As you continue to do that, not only do you have success in putting points on the board, but you're wearing down the front line of Davidson and ultimately getting those guys in foul trouble. Collins picks up his second foul. New shot clock for the Cats. Here's Richards now on the other side. Curry thought about it. And there's the hard heads. Good job by Jackson that time, getting the ball out of Curry's hands. Eight to shoot. Richard, six to shoot. Work it. Let's it go. And that one out of bounds as Curry heads into press row. Now the winner here heads to the final four. North Carolina already there with Memphis and UCLA. And history made Either way, Kansas wins first time. The number one seeds, all four of them, have advanced to the Final Four. And if Davidson makes it the first time in school history that they've tasted a Final Four. And the first time the 10 goes to the Final Four as well. Rush. Curry right on him. Rush driving. Kicking. Jackson. Rush with the rebound. Now Rush again, splits it. Tough shot. Oh! And it counts! Plus the foul! Well, after that made jump shot a few moments, a few minutes ago by Brandon Rush, he is now starting to feel more confident offensively. Not only does he hit the offensive glass, but take a look here. Being assertive to the basket, takes the bump and makes the bucket. So Kansas on a 7-0 run. Rush now with nine points, adds a free throw, he's at double figures, and Kansas takes a 43-37 to 37 lead. And that's the largest lead of the game by either team, six points. Richards driving, hangs in the air and will go to the line. Richards is so smart. 
he really understands how to play the game. Well, he certainly does. And again, it's the change of speed. You know, he gets the defenders to kind of quicken and slows them down. And then he, with a burst of speed, gets that head and shoulders past his man and then uses his body nicely to draw the foul. Although with the big guys inside, Aldridge particularly, just get your hands up. Force Richards to shoot over you instead of swatting down, trying to block the shot to bail him out that way. Loose ball knocked out of bounds, and it's last touch by Aldridge. So Davidson will get it back, under 12 to go, 43 to 38. Welcome back. So some of the players you will be seeing in the Final Four, Love, Rose, Hansbrough. Well, how about Derrick Rose again in a face-to-face -face battle with D.J. Augustin trying to figure out who may be the best point guard in America, and obviously Rose Rose to the occasion. And how about Tyler Hansborough? Now people wonder why a lot of us say he's the player of the year. That game alone against Louisville demonstrated why Tyler Hansborough is the best player in America today, right now, as far as college is concerned, as far as his value to his team. Michael Beasley may be the most talented in my mind, but Hansborough was the man. And I love watching Kevin Love play as well. What a terrific ball player. Only a freshman Pac-10 player of the year. Bob, he hits it from deep. That's what he does. From Maine, his nickname, the White Lobster. 43 to 41, Kansas. Collins again. And it's important for Kansas to answer. They still haven't rested away the tempo that they need. And there's an error by Chalmers. Curry, the other way, poked out of his hands from behind. Collins, he's got Chalmers on the wing. But he finds Jackson who comes at home. And that's what we say. You've got to get that tempo back. Kansas needs to turn Davidson over, get some easy buckets. Bar again deep in the court. He hits it again. He hit two threes against Wisconsin for six. Back to back threes here. We have a one point game. And once again, how important is it for Davidson to establish other guys out there? Stephen Curry with 20 points, but obviously not enough. Needs some help from his friends. And Barr ready to step up for him. Collins. Chalmers steps into a jump shot. Loose ball, Menno there. He's their leading rebounder, close to six a game. Davidson, they can take the lead here. Curry thinking about firing. Lovedale, turn around baseline. Oh, and he hit it. Plus the foul. Establishing other players for Davidson. This is not a one-man band. First bar, now Lovedale getting into the act. Just a straight post-up turnaround jump shot. 10.30 to play, second half. They're balling in Detroit, 46 to 45. Today's games to see the finalists for the Pontiac game-changing performance that voted Pontiac.com slash NCAA to help decide which school wins a $100,000 general scholarship for Pontiac. So Andrew Lovedale at the line, shooting one. Misses it. 46-45. Davidson, a 10 against Kansas. A one, the winner to advance to the final four. I mentioned at the beginning of this half, the longer Kansas allows Davidson to stay in it without establishing their tempo and trying to create some separation. The more Davidson believes that they can win this thing, not that they ever doubted that they can win it. Con double team, Robinson to the basket, the kick, and he throws it out of bounds. Anxiety starts to set in. As we see it starting to set in for Kansas right now. Davidson on a 9-2 run. Kansas needs to answer. What do they do? Turn it over. 13 turnovers for Kansas. Davidson has turned it over seven times. Said the first five to eight minutes critical for Kansas. Kansas hasn't been able to create, to create separation. In fact, they've lost some ground. And as I said, that's where the anxiety starts to sit in when the little guy keeps at you and keeps at you. Got to maintain your poise if you're Kansas. Bar again from downtown. Oh! The White Lobster is cooking. 49-45. 
Three threes and, for Barr. And within that poise, he had to maintain focus. Got to know who's on the floor and who's capable of knocking him down. You got to play Barr like you play Curry. 49-45, Davidson. Barr is no vacation for the Kansas defenders. They nope. got to play it. Khan with the rebound and stick back. Sasha Khan has been the best front court player for this Kansas team. Ten points had four at halftime. Now Curry, step back off the dribble. Count big time player. Remember, Steph Curry. Remember, you take a look at his parents right there, pushing him on. Stephen Curry was a point guard in high school. He's handling the point right now. Jason Richards gets a blow. And Barr is taking the Curry positions. And Curry is just starting to take Kansas out. Khan again. Chalmers. Trying to find some space. Baseline. Robinson, his offense has been non-existent. He's got to get it going. To the basket on the hop. That defense once again, four red shirts packed in the paint. No play. Curry, to deep. That would save from going out of bounds, but here comes Kansas with numbers. Rush. Wait for your bigs if you're Kansas. Kansas has to get something from their guards, though, Lenny. Their guards, Robinson, nothing. Chalmers slow in the second half. Rush a little bit. Let's see. Fires. Khan saves it to Ball. And a timeout on the floor. 7.35 to play. Here in the second half, Davidson with the lead. Make the final four, George Mason in 2006, LSU, Carolina, the only team to ever win it, Villanova, when they defeated the mighty Georgetown Hoyas. Bob McKillop's team, 7.35 away. And Gus, going back to your comment before the break, I still believe that if I'm Kansas, I got to go back inside to my big man. If for no other reason you can play inside out, make those perimeter shots easier for your guards. But more importantly, you got 22 points out of your three bigs. You got Sandra with two fouls, Lovedale with three. They're hurting Kansas on the boards and defensively. Put some pressure on them. You know, try to get them in some foul trouble. You still got plenty of time to go. You can't take this errant jump shot. And a steal. Chalmers drives straight to the basket and lays it in. Of course, easy baskets help as well. 51 to 49. Chalmers with 13. He had 11 at halftime. Now they're trying to make Richards cough it up. Lovedale, skip pass. Sander. But how about Davidson? Just a tremendous job. Again, maintaining their poise for the most part. Under control. Still willing to run their stuff in the face of pressure. Curry a 3 0. No. Khan with another rebound. Chalmers. Khan wants it inside. Steps out the screen. 20-footer, Collin. Kansas right back in front. 52-51. Five points for Collins, all coming in the second half. Curry, backdoor love deal, knocked away and out of bounds. 6-11 to play, second half, Kansas 52, Davidson 51. Half. Well, again, Davidson just shooting the ball much better here in the second half. Pretty even for Kansas. Uh, field, Three-point field goal shooting by Davidson. They've gotten open looks, particularly Ryan Barr, who's come in and give Davidson a tremendous lift. Barr with three threes in this game. They're running around screens right now. Curry steps out, fires. That one way off the mark. Here comes Collins, the hard push into the front court. Again, looking to try to establish the Kansas tempo, push the ball up, explore the defense. Collins down the lane, almost turned it over. Good decision to get it back outside. Davidson was numbers. Now it's time to run your set. Rush, skipping. Khan keeps it up, keeps it up high, and knocks it down. Smart play, go to your bigs, put the pressure on the Davidson back line. 
54-51, Kansas, Bob, inside, he banks it home. 11 points all in the second half for Brian Barr. And we've got a one-point game. Collins. Robinson scoreless, pick and roll. Down the lane. Arthur, wheeling. That's right, your bids are taking over, just like you said. Well, you gotta put the pressure on Davidson. That's where Kansas' strength might be. You don't wanna, if you're Davidson, you don't want your big guys getting foul trouble because not a lot of depth on that bench up front. Seven points for Arthur. Here's Curry. He's been quiet lately. And look at the attention Stephen Curry gets coming off that screen. Ten to shoot for Curry. Guarded by Collins. Six to shoot. Double clutch. And that one out of bounds. Contact, but no whistle. Nice job defensively by Collins. Well, you talk about giving a big lift. Six four sophomore Brian Barr has just come off screens and moving without the ball to receive and square up. Just as though he was watching some Stephen Curry tape. Yeah, that's right. Tremendous job, and he should get a big round of applause from the Davidson faithful. They take him out of the game. So here come the Jayhawks, Chalmers and Collins in the backcourt. Collins, Arthur, and Rush. Kansas now much more deliberate, trying to build their lead with only three points, but still an advantage. Four minutes to play. 56-53, inside, middle. No mistake, and it's not coincidental. Each time the Davidson guy receives, the first place his eyes go is to look for Stephen Curry. 13 to shoot. Richards turns the corner. Everybody switches off those screens, and that time it works. And he throws it out of bounds. 3:31 to go, second half, three-point game. All right, the game reset. Davidson with three timeouts. Kansas with two. Each team with five team fouls. And Davidson is holding on to the possession error. 331 to play. 56 to 53, Kansas. Let me tell you what, Justin. Kansas was unable to create some separation between themselves and Davidson in the first five, eight minutes of this half. We knew it was going to be a game that goes down to the wire. And obviously so dangerous for Kansas because Davidson possesses a certified game breaker. Collins draws Curry. Chalmers curls down the lane. Fired. Off the mark, loose. Picked up by Paulus Gosselin. Richards, Paulus Gosselin, Lovedale, Meadow, Curry. That boxing one once again. And he left the chaser, and you look again. Stephen Curry as the one being guarded man to man, using himself as a decoy set of screens, trying to get guys open. Look at the left there with the rebound, stripped out of his hands, though. And a foul. Now, for those of you expecting to see 60 Minutes, you're watching CBS Sports coverage of the NCAA Basketball Tournament. I'm Gus Johnson along with Len Elmore. Our score, 56 to 53, Kansas. 60 Minutes will be seen in its entirety immediately after the game, except on the West Coast where it will be seen at its regular time. Key development for Davidson. That's Lovedale's fourth foul. And I talked about going inside to the bigs to try to wear down Davidson. Lovedale has been tremendous inside playing his role. But the big people for uh, Kansas, Arthur Jackson and Khan, are 13 of 17 from the field. Chalmers stop and start. They swing at Collins, driving, elevates. Jessica! And he will go to the line. Big time performance by Sasha Khan. So far, six of six from the field. 12 points total, five rebounds, one block, a number of changes, keeping the ball alive. 
really been an outstanding inside presence for the Jayhawks at a time when they really need it, when their perimeter guys, except for Mario Chalmers, are misfiring. And there he goes, Andrew Lovedale, so key to Davidson during this run against Gonzaga, against Georgetown, against Wisconsin. And here he is at 220 left, and he's gone. Subs coming in, and they love Andrew as he fouls out of the game. So Meadow checks out. Barr comes back in, along with Sander. Khan, a 54% free throw shooter. Arthur tracking it down, and Sanders somehow managed to claim it. 2.14 to go. Richards. Curry working hard, poked out Chalmers out of bounds. That should have been a foul on Barr. Chalmers poked it out of his hands, and Barr pushed him as Chalmers went diving for the ball. So here's Curry, the inbounder. Curry, stop and start, dips inside, no, loose, Rush with the ball. And that's where Rush's length paid off, got a piece of that. As Curry tried to step in and still get it off. So creative, the stuff from Curry in getting shots, but not that time. Rush, spinning, 19 to shoot, drives. Now Collins. With 10 to shoot. Big possession for both teams here. Here's Collins. Tried to cross over. Stolen. Richards. He's got Curry with him. Stops. A three. Loose. Rossiter can't hold on. And Rush comes out of the pack. Huge, huge turnaround. Stephen Curry got the shot he wants, the shot he makes, particularly in this NCAA tournament, and just could knock it down. And on the other end, Kansas goes to the free throw line. So that sends Rush to the line. He's a 77% free throw shooter, shooting one and one. Kansas, six of 12 from the line today. 58-53, Jayhawks, a minute and 15 away from the final four. And that last play may have pushed that clock closer to midnight. Davidson. Second one good. Coach Self desperately wanting to get this program back to the final four. He's dealt with the pressure extremely well, always positive. He said to us the other day, our fans are what guide us. They are the most unrealistic, realistic group there is. Big substitution by Bill Self. He's deciding to go small right now. Once the guard for the three-point shooter. Curry off. Ball batted around. Rossiter hits the deck. And a timeout called by Davidson with 59.8 to go. Our score, Kansas 59, Davidson 53. 53, Kansas, as you take a look at the game reset. Kansas still has a foul to give. Davidson over the limit. And as I mentioned, key substitution by Bill Self going small right now, recognizing there are a bunch of shooters out there for Davidson. He needs guys that are able to get down and play some defense. Only Darrell Arthur, who's a pretty versatile, athletic guy, probably capable of playing some of the more um, some of the more active guys on the perimeter. And Stephen Curry recognized the two possession ball game, 59 seconds left. Inside Sander, and he's fouled. And Sander will go to the line, a 53% free throw shooter. Well, not exactly what Bill Self wanted, but if anybody would go to the line that Kansas would make the choice of, it would be Thomas Sander. Only shooting, as you mentioned, 53% from the free throw line. And he gets the roll. Lovedale is fouled out. Minnow's on the bench. 59-54. A lot of time left in this game. One, one. 
Missed the second, kept alive. Paul is Gosselin, knocked out of bounds, and Rush tips it out of bounds. That's a good call by the official. Now they're going to get Barr back in with Menno. Paul is Gosselin checks out. What a hustle play on the missed free throw. Now you get the shooter back in. 24 red is Barr. He's hit three threes in this game, has 11 points. Richards is the inbounder. Curry lets it go. And it buries it! 54 seconds of play. Timeout. 59 57. Steph Curry will not let Davidson die. Right now, 25 points, four of 16 from the three-point line, and that was a huge three he just knocked down. When we talked about a certified game breaker. That was the designated shot maker right there in Stephen Curry. So Davidson picks up full court, rushes the inbounder for Kansas with Robinson, Collins, Chalmers, and Arthur. Plenty of opportunity to play some defense. Davidson does not have to foul. Full court pressure. Ball is Gosselin. Picks up Collins. Look at him slide. As Collins gets it over the line to Chalmers. 20 seconds to shoot. Chalmers. And Bill Self calls a timeout. 36 seconds to play. 17 on the shot clock. Back to Detroit after this. The game reset. Each team with a timeout left. Davidson holding on to the arrow. 17 on the shot clock. Well, coming out of this huddle right here, I suspect Bill Self will try to create something maybe with 10 seconds left. He's got some penetrators out there. Might be able to use a high screen with Arthur setting the high screen as the Davidson crowd cheers their defense on. But if not, guys like Sharon Collins particularly have the ability to break down the defense without getting that high screen. Keep Arthur down on the baseline for the penetrating dish. But it's got to be a penetrating kick somehow. Rush the inbound. First they have to get it in. And he'll find Collins with 15 to shoot. Collins will be able to take Richard off the bounce. Collins hands it off to Chalmers. He curls. Stops. Arthur five to shoot. Collins three to shoot. Let's it go. Off the front rim. No. And with 16.8 to go, Davidson with life. 59 to 57. In big moments, the stars have to step up. That young man, 25 points for Steph Curry. And Coach McKillop from Davidson calls a timeout. 16.8 to go. Two point game. A final four slot on the line. Davidson, so you go for the tie or do you go for the win? Well, the way Davidson shoots the ball, particularly from the three, you go for the best available. And first of all, going back to Kansas, not the kind of offensive possession that Bill Self would be happy with. He wanted to probably get some penetration. They messed around too much. Shot clock ran down. Good defense by Davidson. But here, everybody knows that Stephen Curry is in the ball game. But don't forget Bryant Barr, who has been Red hot. Barr lines up on the, in the corner on the baseline. Here's Curry. He may not give this up. Pick and roll. Curry, six to go. Frees himself. Curry, four to go. Pumps. Kicks it out. Richard! And it's over. Kansas holds on. And the Jayhawks are heading to the final four. Wow. Why did Stephen Curry give up the ball for one? Secondly, the way he's been able to go behind and back penetrate, you wonder what they were thinking. You take a look here. Replay situation. And look at the defense by Kansas. Well, Richard, I'm sorry, not Richard, but ball in the hands. Curry gives it back. And I'll tell you what. Again, Curry has the ball. He's got the ability to go behind his back, picks up his dribble, and that's what hurt him. Davidson looking for a miracle. Come up empty. Different story for Coach Self. Finally. 
Did you see that big gorilla just jump off his back there? <laughs> All right, Kansas goes on to win it. Today's Chevrolet players of the game are Steph Curry, 25 points, and how about Sasha Khan?